What up, people? It's your boy, the host with the most. I do not brag or boast. And I'm coming to you guys live from coast to coast. It's your boy. I'm Chris the Don One. And welcome to another lit episode of I'm Chris the Don One Podcast. Episode 194. How you living? I'm living swell. Feel free. Be sure to hit the subscription button. Hit the notification bell. Share this content with your friends family as well as your followers let's get this podcast lit in the youtube oh excuse me my bad already struggling in the podcast algorithm can you do your boy a favor can you do your boy a solid by the way subscribe to i'm chris and i one podcast on spotify and then once you subscribe there you can listen to either on to spotify or to wherever you get your podcast indulgement from all right we got all that stuff on out of the way also just a reminder i'm chris don one podcast will be featured on my youtube channel i'm chris don one tv all the links are going to be in the description by the way of my many plethora of youtube channels as well as social media accounts and handles all right now we finally got all that out of the way we're gonna be talking about real fast real quick i'm gonna do a quick deep dive review on threads now threads was released wednesday uh it was yesterday it was wednesday today's thursday um you're gonna be listening to this episode by the way on saturday okay so i hope i don't get anyone confused twisted or puzzled okay so threads was released yesterday which was wednesday and uh, a lot of people are are thinking, well, a lot of people are saying that tr- uh, Threads is going to be the is going to be the Twitter killer. All right, uh, a lot of people are not too fond with uh, with Twitter. Um, you know, Elon Musk owns Twitter. Uh, uh, a lot of people thought that uh, Elon has pretty much Elon Musk has ruined uh, Twitter. Twitter has new requirements and. You know, if you want to be verified, you in, in order for you to get the blue check mark, um, you will have to pay for it. A lot of people, a lot of celebrities, content providers, social media influencers thought that was a little petty. Now, any now any random Joe with less than a hundred followers can be simply just verified i mean ver- uh, uh verified and you know all the hard work and energy a lot of these people you know you know created to build their brands and to build their social media handles it's been thrown to the wayside all you know sh- you know kissing babies and giving out hundred dollar handshakes and you know this that and the third to try to get their numbers up so they can be ver- uh, verified now people can just create an account pay for twitter blue and they're just verified and a lot of people are upset about that well the way social uh twitter was going i will uh say this uh twitter was going this way before elon musk so we can't necessarily put it all on elon musk but also people are are are, you know feeling um kind of clammy that you know twitter you know don't allow you to be who you are you know Kanye West had issues with Twitter. Twitter has, uh, you know, pretty much, uh, you know, deleted a lot of Kanye's tweets. Uh, Kyrie Irving uh, is not too fond or, or not uh, much of a fan of Twitter. Donald Trump is not a huge uh, endorser of Twitter. You know, Twitter at one point suspended Donald Trump's account. Okay, that's how bad it got. So a lot of politicians, a lot of high-profile celebrities and uh, influencers are not too keen on the direction Twitter is going and a lot of people are moving to other outlets so they can say they mind and say their piece all right um, I'm not even going to mention all of the social media applications that uh, a lot of these fleet people are going to because a lot of people feel like free speech is really not free speech okay there was an old song, old, old, old song. A lot of you guys uh, are going to be too young to understand this song. But I remember Ice-T made a song called Freedom of Speech, 
but watch what you say. I think that went down like in the 90s, early 90s. And um, that song is still true to today. You do have uh, the, you, you do have the right to say whatever you want to say. You do have, quote unquote, freedom of speech. You just got to make sure to watch what you say. In other words, there are consequences and repercussions to any action or, you know, any video or any tweet. You have to put your big boy pants on and realize there are consequences and repercussions of what you say and what you do, even on social media. But that's neither here nor there. Let's get off the soapbox and let's talk about uh, threads. Uh, a lot of these, uh, a lot of people want wanted another app to uh, go to other than Twitter. You know, Twitter was really the only big guy on the block that was uh, utilizing this type of, you know, you know, tweeting messages and tweeting your handles and tweeting uh, your links and things of that nature. Uh, on a small level, Instagram was doing it. At a smaller level, Facebook was doing it. You know, uh, you know, a lot of you know applications were sort of kind of doing it. Even YouTube uh, is is still doing it. They have a community tab where people can send messages to their subscribers, uh, links, and things of that nature. But uh, as far as those applications I just mentioned, they had very uh, small limitations you can you know get from utilizing those features on those other applications and it still wasn't necessarily quote unquote the twitter killer where you don't have to necessarily use twitter to uh you know speak your mind say your piece and, and things of that nature so now threads was released wednesday and threads at this point and this number could change it's uh, well over 30 million people are using Threads since it launched Wednesday. Today is Thursday. I believe that number has gone up. And by the time you guys listen to this episode, um, you know, it's going to go even further up. The numbers are going to go through the roof. And a lot of celebrities, a lot of uh, a lot of celebrities, social media influencers that uh, wasn't too keen and happy with Twitter and the direction where Twitter was is going are immediately jumping off the Twitter boat into threads. Um, and I've seen a lot of people do videos and, and and tweet about it and this, that and the third threads has gone so popular. It's trending on Twitter as we speak threads is trending on the competitor twitter as we speak all right now i have a threads account and there are some things that i like about threads and there are some things i don't like about threads and um i'm gonna explain to you guys i don't necessarily think this is going to be the twitter uh, killer but i will say this and this is the same adage it goes on and on wherever circle you associate yourself with or whatever community you uh, gravitate to competition is good folks having competition levels uh the competitive field and levels of uh, you know corporation versus corporation to do better to do more and the consumer reaps the benefits the people who are utilizing these services reap the benefits. Uh, so I don't think necessarily Threads is going to uh, just eliminate uh, t uh, Twitter from social media where it's non-existent. Um, I think as of right now, people, uh, I haven't heard of any uh, celebrity or social media influencer or, you know, politician who announced, uh, you know, to social media that they're deleting their Twitter account. I think uh, people are going to utilize threads as well as Twitter. Now, the one thing people say when they're talking about threads is the message and uh, how you message and how you interact with other people on threads. And the first, <laughs> the first thing people make the mistake on, you could tweet to other people. Uh, people still utilize tweet into threads 
Okay, they don't say message. They don't say I traded somebody. I messaged somebody. The first thing people say is I, you can tweet other uh, people that are subscribed to you or you're subscribed to them. Um, I think that's the number. I think that's the number one thing that's going to hurt Threads in the immediate future. But as long as Threads is continuing traction and as long as people are utilizing uh, Threads as an app, uh, it's, uh, Threads is not going to go away anytime soon. But the first thing I want to talk about is Twitter, the name Twitter. And a lot of people who are smart is going to get this. And a lot of people who are not, they're going to get personal and attack what I'm about to say. Uh, Twitter, the Twitter name is a bigger brand than Threads. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, well, it just started Wednesday, Chris. Why would you think Threads would be more a valuable, the, a valuable brand and a valuable name than Twitter? Um, and this is the same problem other corporations have when they're dealing with their competitors. When you have, when you're dealing, when you're in competition with like a competitor where their name is iconic, their name is a brand, it's a fashion statement, and they've been at this game a little longer than you. Um, and they, you know, have so much real estate in, 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 in 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 social media and and you know in in the coolness factor the wow factor the name factor um it makes you you're not going to never necessarily say that you can eliminate your competition away uh i think twitter is here to stay um you know when people say messaging uh people are going to say tweet and when people say every time they say when they're utilizing threads and they're tweeting to people that uh, uh, are subscribed to them or people that are not subscribed to them, therein lies the problem. Um, so Twitter is not necessarily going away. I think people are going to utilize both of them. Uh, I, and then you're going to have a group of people that's going to pick a side, uh, people that have worked hard and dedicated and uh, they're not going to necessarily get rid of their Twitter. No one's not going to get rid of their Twitter account. Okay, let's just go ahead and, uh, you know, the elephant in the room. No one is necessarily going to get rid of their Twitter account. However, I will say this. Um, you're going to have people that are going to say, um, you know, I had con I had issues with Twitter. And I'm just going, since Threads is here, I'm going to exclusively, you know, go with Threads. And then you're going to have people on the other side of the fence saying, look, I have built a huge community, a huge fan base on Twitter. I'm still going to utilize Twitter, but I'm still, um, you know, deal with Threads every now and again. So you're going to have people picking sides and you're going to and you're going to hear people's positions on why they're picking sides but i think the majority of a lot of people are going to utilize both of them okay uh you know uh, just like any other social media app all right uh, i think th uh, threads is going to be embedded in social media and as long as threads is creating and and utilize and bringing different features that the community wants as long as it keeps evolving, it's going to have a, a, a face in the place, so to say. Now, the one, I, I think uh, Threads is easy to use. Once you sign up, you can either use your Instagram account and you automatically, you know, it, it's, it's easy to, uh, you know, um, to create an account. Um, you can do that. Or if you want to just create your very own thread, just your if you want to use your email or whatever, there is an option for that, too. So you don't necessarily have to use your Instagram account to create a threads account. All right. Um, I think that's uh, very, very good. Um, I, I will say this. A lot of features that people are, you know, right now, people are on the wildness factor of, wow, we finally got something that can compete 
for uh, against Twitter, and we finally got something that uh, we can. We don't necessarily have to use Twitter, but I do feel like a lot of people are misguided, and uh, people that are going to be uh, pro thread and pro against Twitter and why they had their issues with Twitter and why they're going to use threads more. They're they're going to be blinded to the fact that as of right now. Uh, Twitter has a bigger engine than Threads. Now I know Threads is linked with Meta. I know uh, you know Facebook is on Meta, Instagram is on Meta. Okay, uh, it, it has a big engine, but uh, people that are particularly content creators, influencers, celebrities, and things of that nature, the search engine on Twitter they already are they're already popular because of the searches so a lot of the people that are going to be uh that are popping right now are not going to just simply jump ship abandon their twitter account and just go exclusively to threats i you know because they're already popular on social media so what's the incentive of them um going to threats now they'll be on threads but they'll also keep their Twitter account, all right? So if you follow what I'm saying, you're not gonna have anyone that's ultra popular. They're so popular on Twitter, that you're never gonna have a moment where they're gonna say, you know what? I'm going to abandon my popularity on Twitter and start all over at Threads. I don't think necessarily it's going to happen. It's easy to use, but there are a lot of features that are missing from threads i think twitter spaces has become so popular so popular and when they first introduced this i thought twitter spaces was a dumb ideal it's a dumb concept but i have learned to adapt to twitter spaces threads do not have anything currently at this moment and uh twitter space is the the most popular thing on social media those who get it got it uh they understand how popular twitter space is those who don't don't get it you know they're not even on twitter anyway they're not popular on twitter they may jump to threads to try to gain some momentum saying we're well, all the popular people are on twitter so let me just go to threads so i can start build me a huge fan base okay uh, so they're going to look at this concept where I'm about to say Twitter spaces. They're going to like, so who cares about Twitter spaces? OK, so that's the type of people that's against Twitter spaces. I think Twitter space has gotten so popular overnight. Uh, it, it's even gotten more popular than audio podcasting. All right. It's in that lane. You've seen a lot of celebrities, a lot of influencers, a lot of politicians just um, you know, it, it, it's bigger than Clubhouse. Remember how everyone was talking about how popular Clubhouse was and everybody's going to gravitate to Clubhouse, but Clubhouse has, it had its faults. Uh, you have to, uh, you know, you, not anybody can just make a Clubhouse account. You have to sort of be invited to Clubhouse. That limits your audience and limits your community and limits your growth and development. So much of the fact that Twitter got late to the game with Clubhouse, they made a Twitter space and Twitter space is more popular than Clubhouse. OK, I think Clubhouse is going to be the new lane. If, if, if there are any content uh, creators that are listening to this episode and you want to find you want to get in where you can fit in, you better be on. You should be already doing Twitter spaces. You should automatically be doing Twitter Spaces, but if you haven't, if you if you're late to the scene with Twitter Spaces, I suggest go to Threads, start building your communication from the ground up, your community from the ground up right now, because I guarantee you, by next week, it's going to be so popular on Threads that uh, it's you're the same problems you have being popular on Twitter. Are going to be pretty much the same pro uh, problems you're going to be why you're not popular on thread so if you didn't start wednesday 
you're SOL, my friends. Okay. And in the time you listen to this episode, you are really SOL. All right. So I'm just saying that. All right. So, uh, yeah, I feel like Twitter space is, is, is giving a leg up for Twitter against, uh, threads. Uh, I think, uh, also another thing about threads, which I feel like it's going to build as uh, as the weeks, the months, and the years go on. It's so v- v- it's so vanilla, okay. So vanilla on threads. There's uh, there's interaction, but it, it feels like threads is not alive. It's like it, you know, it's, it's you know, it just feels like there's not a lot of people on threads. And uh, I, you know. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I looked at it and I'm going to be honest with you. I was not a big fan as of Wednesday. That's this is my and now your opinion is subject to change. But as of Wednesday, I'm not a big component of threads. I think it's a good idea to have a threads to have competition against Twitter. But as of right now, Twitter uh, is, is is a little bit better than Threads. That's just my humble opinion about it. A better search engine. Uh, they already got a library of 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 uh, they you know you know they, they have a bigger leg on their search engine. What uh, people uh, search and what's trending and things of that nature than Threads. You know you know uh, trending topics you know that that's coming from twitter's uh, uh neck of the woods um tweeting that comes from twitter's neck of the words woods so um threads is going to have to bring something uh to the forefront that's uh, original and unique that you can only find on threads until twitter adapts to it okay and um, I'm pretty sure they got a lot of great ideals for threads. But when you go on to threads, if you look at the page, it's so it's so vanilla. It's so vague. It's, 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 it's not lifeless. And I feel like that's going to ultimately change. But if you look, if you compare the pages of Twitter and if you pay and if you look at the pages uh, and you compare the pages of Twitter and the pages of threads, you can already tell that it's not, you know, it's, it's, it's like two different worlds. Um, I think uh, another thing threads need to uh, change immediately. They just, uh, you know, they, if you look at a, a threads page, it's eerily similar to Twitter. You, you can retweet, you can like, you can share, you can do all that. But see, we, we've been there and done that with Twitter. I think threads, if you're going to be new to the market, you should have your own way of communicating to the audience of threads, uh, other than copy and pasting what Twitter is, what works for Twitter. All right. You can still do that, but you should bring something to the game other than just copy and pasting what Twitter is doing right now. Uh, As of right now, no one can sit up here and tell me threads is so different from Twitter. They're, they're pretty much identical. All right. And I feel like, uh, you know, if they don't change that, uh, threads can die. It could be a dead man walking later on down the road. But uh, my overall review of it is, uh, you know, and, and you and you see all of the industry uh, what, what, what journalism. You, you saw D.C. has a threads account. Marvel has a Threads account. Netflix has a, a Threads account. Okay, that that's what I saw recently. Um, and uh, I think, um, but what would tip the boat over for Threads if you have someone so popular like a Kim Kardashian or a Beyonce? Or even a uh, uh, you know uh, you know uh, you know a Drake, uh, you know someone that says you know what uh, I created a Threads account and I'm only a, I'm only you're only going to be able to communicate to me on Threads. I think Threads need to have moments like that where they pull 
an entity from Twitter and now they're going to use threads full time and they're just you know they're going to be exclusively for uh to threads i think twitter needs to talk to the big heavy hitters in hollywood and entertainment in the rap world of uh, in the athletic world and if you pull personalities from there where they'll exclusively just do uh, threads more they're not going to totally abandon their twitter page they're going to be uh, somewhat active on twitter but the majority of their uh perspective is going to be on threads that's where uh threads can sort of kind of get a leg up on uh twitter but uh, as of right now it there's nothing unique about threads that I can tell you that's different from Twitter. All I can tell you is we have a new app. It's called Threads. It's eerily similar to Twitter. People that have issues with Twitter uh, will, will go to Twitter. And that's pretty much it. That's that's all I can tell you. Uh, if, if I, you know, I, I do feel like Thread should have its own identity. I do feel like threads need to be in, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, be more um, innovated and come up with their own original concepts and ideals uh, that makes them different from Twitter. But as of right now, they're not different from Twitter. I'm pretty sure threads in the next couple of months or maybe the next year, I say the next couple of months, they're going to introduce their version of Twitter spaces and they're going to uh, capture some of that audience there. So people that have small, um, that have small communities or have a small market will probably jump on threads thinking that, okay, I'll probably have a larger audience on threads because there are too many um, Twitter spaces on Twitter for me to you know separate myself from my competition you you, you may have something like that uh I, I think threads should come up with their own unique ideals and their own unique concepts that separates them differently from uh twitter i think that's first and foremost uh i think they should have their own names on how they do things like instead of retweeting liking and uh you know uh you know I think they need to have their own uh, wording, their own language, uh, because when people talk about it, the first thing they do, they say is, yeah, it's a place where you could, there's a, there's a, you know, threads is like another Twitter. Once again, you keep, you're mentioning Twitter with, you're, you're really bigging up Twitter and that's not what you're trying to do. And then the next mistake you make is, yeah, you can tweet your messages will see once again every time you try to big up threads you're also mentioning you're also mentioning twitter so uh yeah competition is good but you have to have your own lane you have to have your own language you have to have your own community you have to have your own unique ideals that separates you from your competition if you want uh if you want threads to be poppy all right so uh yeah that's that's uh pretty much it um guys tell me what you think i really do appreciate oh uh, you can definitely tell me what you think when this episode premieres on i'm chris down one tv all the links are in the description below you can listen to this episode again my friend uh, on my YouTube channel, it premieres every Monday morning on YouTube. So it's exclusively for the audio podcast listeners on Saturday. And for any uh, YouTube, my YouTube audience, it premieres on Monday. So it's your boy, the host with the most. I do not brag or boast. And I'm coming to you guys live from Ghost to Ghost. Feel free, be sure to hit the subscription button on I'm Chris Don One Podcast on Spotify. Feel free to do that. Please do your boy a favor. Please do your boy a solid. Uh, and then you once you subscribe to I'm Chris Don One on Spotify, you can continue to watch 
all of my episodes, my, well, listen to all of my episodes on Spotify, or you can listen to them on iTunes or uh, Stacker or wherever, Google uh, Play, wherever you get your podcast indulgement from, you can listen to it as well. But feel free to subscribe to my uh, podcast on Spotify. All right. So uh, that's it for today's episode. As always, I really do appreciate you guys listening to it. Uh, I will see you bright better than ever next Saturday morning. I'm up out of here. Outro, folks. Outro. Outro.